The only land crossing between Jordan and the occupied West Bank has now reopened after a two-day closure. It was shut down following the killing of three Israeli guards on Sunday. Hundreds of Palestinians were stranded near the crossing. Uh, this is on the occupied West Bank side. It's now reopened, but for civilian traffic only, not for commercial goods. Let's go to Al Jazeera's Hamda Salhut. Uh, Hamda, you're uh, joining us on the Jordanian side of that King Hussein border crossing. So many Palestinians in the occupied West Bank really depend on this crossing. What's the situation there now? And also, what are you hearing, if anything, on when commercial traffic might restart? Well, as you can see behind me, the passengers are now coming and going from the King Hussein border crossing. And on the other side, the Israeli controlled Allenby crossing. It was shuttered for two days after directives from Israeli security officials and reopened only when their security measures were implemented and put in place. That, according to the Israeli airport and ports authority, who controls all of the land crossings that it shares with Jordan, there's still no word exactly on when commercial traffic will be allowed in, when those trucks will be allowed into the other side of the border. And that's perhaps because Israelis are still working on directives for securities and working on putting new measures into place. And remember, this closure had happened after a shooting took place that killed three Israeli guards on the other side. The Jordanian Interior Ministry conducting an investigation into the matter, identifying the shooter as a Jordanian national who acted alone. But for thousands of Palestinians on this side of the border, they were rendered stranded because there was no other crossing for them to go to. The one in, in the north and in the south have also been reopened. Uh, Hamda Salhout reporting from the Jordanian side of that border crossing with the occupied West Bank. Thank you very much for that, Hamda. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.